Hey everyone, this is Scott from CernMedia.com and in this video we will be talking about a new feature that came to Cloudways. It is their new bot protection feature. I'm going to be going over what it is, how effective it is, and really how you get started using it and some of the pitfalls you're probably going to run into when using it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So now we're going to be looking at the actual settings panel for the bot protection feature. So the bot protection feature very simply is a integration with Malcare. Malcare is the plugin that I haven't reviewed on this channel. It's very similar though to uh, WordFence, at least in the way that it works. It's meant to stop you from getting brute forced. It's meant to stop you from getting hacked on a very basic level. And the team at Cloudways created an integration with their plugin, sort of. So you install the bot protection feature. Basically, you go to your Cloudways panel, you pick your application, and you have this new panel called bot protection. I've actually installed it on CERT Media and I let it running, left it running for a few days. We're gonna hop over there to show you what it looks like. And here's what it's done for the few days that I've had it running, because I wanted to get some sort of a sample set to see how this works and if it's honestly effective or if it's actually stopping anything. So. It's been running and it's blocked three traffic and two days and two login attempts over the past seven days. And what's great about this plugin, quite honestly, is it's, it integrates so nicely with the admin panel that you can get very useful data. So as you can see, on the seventh, there were 17, uh, 16 failed login attempts. I don't know when the seventh was, but I don't honestly think I failed that much trying to log in. Uh, but as you can see, you can get login attempts by the username and you can get information on the bad bots that we're visiting. Now you might be wondering, if they're bad bots, why are they not blocked? Can't answer that. I'm not really sure why they have traffic from bad bots listed, but they didn't block it. You have an option to whitelist any bot and the last five bots are shown. So the Seznam bot is a Chinese search engine, I believe. Mail.ru is a Russian email service, very similar to Gmail. Chrome, I'm not really sure what Chrome bot is in this case. The brute force login bot, no idea what that means. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's maybe from Jetpack. Jetpack has a brute force protection in it, maybe that's what it is. And the XML RPC bot, I have no idea what that is either. Uh, I kind of wish that it gave a little something useful uh, other than just these really odd names. Maybe if it just ripped it off of the user agent or something, I'm not really sure. But I went ahead and I installed it on this staging domain. And to really install it, all you have to do is click active. What it will do then is it'll go into the WordPress side of things. It will install the Care plugin. And it, they rename it to be the bot protection plugin, but in all honestly, you can see that it's the Malcare plugin from WordPress.org. Um, it doesn't have a settings panel. It's completely hidden. Um, it doesn't seem to load virtually anything on the front end, and I haven't noticed any slowdown from it from when I was running it on my live website. Uh, but at the same token, I haven't seen it protect me in any way. Three bots over seven days is not a lot of bots being blocked, especially when I had a hundred or so odd failed login attempts. That's a lot of failed login attempts and there's no way it's me because I'm the kind of person that I save all my logins in LastPass, which will automatically sign me in when I go to my website. So I'm a little bit confused as to what it's actually blocking and why some things aren't being blocked when they clearly should be. Um, it's fine though, it's a fine plugin. It's just the functionality of it needs improvement. I don't feel like this is doing enough to protect the domain. And anybody who runs a WordPress website will tell you, especially if you have a allow user registration enabled, that's when you're expecting to get the most spam. User registration gets flooded with bots all the time. It happens all the time. I see websites and I'll go on them and they're like, I don't know why my back end is so slow. And it's just some person's blog really at the end of the day. So I go to their website and I'm like, you have like 9,000 registered users. And you may not think that registered users have an impact on your performance, but they do. Because a non a registered user who's a spam bot, even if they're just logging in and commenting on your spam posts, 
on your blog post rather and spamming it, they're bypassing all caching. So they're hitting your server, not a cached file when they're logged in, which is a good design choice because if the user's logged in, then they will have a broken experience if it's cached. I don't feel like this bot protection feature, at least at the moment, is doing enough to protect my website. However, the overhead of using it was so minimal that I didn't notice any improvement. I have a hobby website called Daily Driver Tips, and I feel like this would be an interesting plugin to test. I do have registration enabled, I believe. I may have turned it off temporarily, but basically what I wanna do is run it on Daily Driver Tips for a few days and to really see if it's doing anything. So you just go ahead and you click here, you'll click confirm, now it's installed. And it'll start collecting data. If it can stop actual registration data, uh, spam users from registering, I will comment in the comment section below to give you a progress report here in a few days after it's been active, just to let you know if it's honestly working. Um, because there's no point in running it if it's not doing anything. Even if it has very little overhead, there's no reason to run something that doesn't do its job. That's basically my point. If I don't need it, I don't want it running on the website. So we're gonna go ahead as our test case and we're gonna install it on dailydrivertips.com. I'm going to let it run for a few days. I'll follow up in the comments just to see how it performs. But I am impressed with the user interface integration and I'm impressed that at least they added something new. And what's great about Cloudways is they kind of let you know if your stuff's actually working, unlike SiteGround who has their AI bot that they advertised a couple, I think it was about a year or so back. And there's no way of testing if it's actually blocking anything. You just kind of, it, it, the test is it's either working or it's not, and you don't really know because there's no analytics. So I do like that it provides me analytics data. It's also useful to figure out how many bots are visiting. So you'll notice if you have a really large surge of bots that it flags as being a bot in that it's allowed. That's probably Google bots. So you can use that data in other ways, but I will want to see how it performs on an actual website where spam registration will happen. And that was everything you need to know about the new bot protection feature in Cloudways. If you have any questions about the feature, you can ask in the comments below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. It's pretty passive, so you shouldn't have much trouble once you have it set up, but as always, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.